on Naby Keita's fitness. You expect him to train this afternoon. How is he? Not one hundred percent sure. He had a back spasm, um, and um, so we have to wait a little bit. Um, he will be in today if he, if, he, uh, if he can do something on the training ground. I don't know. This moment, spoke to the dog, but the dog didn't know we have to see him again in a few minutes, and then we will make a decision about that. And that, then of course, we don't know in this in moment as well if he can train then tomorrow. We have to see. So um, didn't look um, too serious. So there's a chance, but we don't know. Um. The two games at Anfield against Manchester City last season, Alex Oxlade-Chamberlain was key in that role between midfield and, and attack and the front three and that link. How do you, with him out, how do you go about trying to recreate that? Ox is not to replace. That, that is clear, and, you know, especially in the shape um, he played in that time. So that made it so... I would love to say the the, the word I don't I'm not not allowed to say, but it made it so 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 uh, <laughs> average that he couldn't that he couldn't um, keep on playing um, after the Rome game. So that is not replaced, but we don't. You have to. That's not possible. But we have um, we had similar situations and um, in this uh, these little runs and, and the, the speed and coming in between, winning the ball and being um, spot on immediately on all positions, stuff like that. Um, we did that with other players, of course, as well. Not exactly in the same manner, but um, pretty similar. And so, unfortunately, I cannot think at the moment about. Ox, I think about him, but not um, to line him up. So, um, but it's nice that you that you mention it because that shows him and, and and the people around how how good it was and how how desperate we are to to have him back. Um, better sooner than later. And in terms of the title race, how key are these kind of games in what you hope to achieve this season in winning the title? I don't think it makes too much sense at the moment to think about the title. There are a lot of games to play, and um, it's, but it's, it's a home game against Manchester City, and um, that's a, a tough one. Uh, they were all tough, uh, even when we won in the Champions League three uh, nil. That was not a three nil how you, you how you usually see it. Uh, that the other team is without a chance or whatever. They were really good that night as well, and um, the four um, three, they were really good. And um, they won before that kind of 60, 70 games in a row. That's how it felt. And um, then they came here where, after the equaliser, we had quite a good, um, we had quite a good um, phase in the game. But they never gave up. They never gave up. And we had to, to, to score exceptional, exceptional goals um, to, to, to go there. And um, they, even with being 4-1 down, they, they never gave up. And that's made, made them last year really special. And I expect them again like this. They're going really for results. A team who can play football like that, it's uh, a lot of times it can happen that they lose the focus a little bit. It never happened to City in the last one and a half, two years. So they have all my respect for sure. Um, we have to be really spot on. We have to be really on our best um, to yeah, to keep them away from our goal and to create some chances in front of their goal and in the idle world to score goals. That's that will be a hard work. Will, will be hard work, but no problem with that. Everybody knows it. So um, that's clear. So now let's try to do it. Um, after the match uh, in Naples, you said you would sit down and, and analyse exactly what maybe had gone wrong or why things had happened. So, assuming that you've done that, have you have you spotted what it is that you need to change, and can you change it? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he had only what one. You, he had only one question, right? What makes, <laughs> what makes you so sure that I know you're not going to tell me exactly what that is. I accept that, but what makes you so sure then that you know how to fix it? That we can. Summarize a bit that um, uh, the timing was not good for different things. So the timing in our defense was not good. The formation was not the main problem. It was then when we when when we um, we didn't adapt to what they did in the right way. And they, after the game, it felt much more clear that, that they deserved to win. Then after they analyzed, yes, they had more chances. We didn't have a, a shot on target. So that makes always if you have then even only one shot on target, you deserve it more to win. And that's what. What happened? That uh, in the last 15 minutes they had um, these two big chances and scored the goal. 
one volley on the crossbar and, and another one, so they had moments more than we had. But the crowd was in a lot of moments really unhappy with the Napoli performance. Um, um, when you think about that, I'm not sure if it was there or not, but it was really loud and the whistling and they were not happy. So we defended them in a lot of moments really good. With the ball, again, timing was not good because we, we felt under pressure where there was no pressure. We, we, we were a little bit too to monostructured, playing in behind instead of in between. Always when we played in between, especially with Bobby, then it was uh, we had these moments. Then we had a few wrong decisions, yeah, where we could have um, played on the left side instead of staying on the right side, stuff like that. So it, it, it was a lot of times it was really close that it could be good, but it was no real perfect decision that night. So now I have the chance to to put the finger in all of that. In the, we are now we will have three days all together until we play um, City and make the boys aware of what was all wrong. Or, but that would mean I forget completely how we played three days before that against Chelsea. And so we have to stay cooler. So that's how it is. It's not that you miss it overnight, whatever. That night, um, the first 15 minutes was an open game with better opportunities for us. It was a bit unlucky when Nabi played the pass for, for Sadio. That was an inch offside. If he's not offside, it's a three versus two, if not three versus nil situation. That's how football sometimes is, and that could have been a game changer. Afterwards, it doesn't look like that, but I cannot ignore the fact that it could have been a game changer. So, similar situation, Bobby in between turns, play the ball directly to, to, to Mo instead of keeping the ball turning and playing on the other side. And then, again, Sadio is away. So stuff like that it was all in the first 15 minutes. They had nothing in these 15 minutes. So, and um, Yeah, we have to, to start a new yeah, game, different game, different opponent, different challenge. Um, unfortunately, even bigger challenge. Um, but that's all. And um, how you can imagine, my, my faith in that team is, is, so, is so big. And um, we have to... Yeah, we want to, not we have to. We want to show a reaction. That's it. And um, I didn't want to lose at Napoli, but if you ask me which is the best um, preparation mood-wise, it's losing a, a game. So it means we don't, we felt it now, um, and we don't want to have that feeling again. So we will fight with all we have for a different result. Can I ask you about James Milner as well, being a, a player that Liverpool picked up from Manchester City? When you came in, almost, well, pretty much almost three years ago, on Monday it is, that you came here, you've got this 29 year old who you've picked up on a, on a free transfer. What did you see in him then that, that maybe, or did he need to persuade you that three years on he's played more than 100 Premier League matches for Liverpool? He's probably one of your first players on the team sheets, probably one of the fittest players out there as well. What did he show you that, or when's the first time you realised he could be like that? Look, when I came in, um, I, had, uh, I knew a, a few players really well because um, I was interested in them as a manager from Dortmund. means that then I, I watched plenty of videos about them. Um, Millie I knew from the games against Manchester City. He was a very reliable um, player, obviously, for City. Not sure if it was. I'm pretty sure it was not a, a fixed lineup, um, a first lineup player, um, but played played still a lot of games. So about this time in, in the other clubs, I didn't know a lot. So, but I was compl I was like a blank piece of paper. So I was not. I, I had no real um, expectations on different players. So I I knew that I. Or that's how it is with new manager. You come in and you give everybody in, a, in the best way. You give everybody a new chance. So I came in because obviously some of the owners or whoever was not happy with the performances so far, but I was not supporting him from the first day. I was against him or whatever. I was completely open. So, and Millie, and then that's good. He I was not in, I think, when, when I came in because he was still with the English national team. But after that, it was pretty early clear that he's a um, very versatile player. You can bring him on different positions, what he played already in the, in the, in the past. And uh, then I watched much more games from the past because I, I saw the players on, on the training ground, but only for an hour a day or so, or one and a half hours. So I, I thought, then it makes sense you watch a few games back. So both footed, um, 
when people say it's a workhorse, then for me that's always a compliment. I know that a few people think that's kind of something different, but for me it's a compliment that he's naturally fit, um, an athlete that was all clear. So um, I was open, and he, um, yeah, he matched these, the expectation I had. Then after a few weeks, he was, he was, or even better. And that's probably in the, in the after his career fin is finished in a few years, then uh, he will think back to the season where he played left back. Um, as a season where he learned a lot about football because he saw the pitch from a different angle and constantly knows much more about supporting from another situ from another position stuff like that um, that's it so but that he can play that position was clear otherwise I would have wouldn't have asked him um, that was that but um, yeah it was a how said I was open and he um, used all opportunities that's how it is yeah, and you kind of hinted at it before, but, but what sort of positives can you draw from, even from poor performances when maybe individually and, and collectively you can reassess things and, and, and look at... Yeah, the, the, greed, the, the greed to respond, huh? so that's it. You, want, you don't want to have that. But um, it's an... No, it's not. I don't want to talk too much about it, but it's a very intense period. Eh? So, and um, we play. We played against um, very demanding teams in the last few weeks, very demanding, and it's quite difficult then to to make plenty of changes because you have what we need in these moments is that we really have a, um, a formation who knows how to defend together because a lot of in a lot of parts of the game, the other team like Paris, like Chelsea, Chelsea, Bam Bam, um, and Napoli. They have the ball, so it needs to work out pretty well, and that's what takes longest. But what they all, that all the boys are really skilled and all that stuff. That's, that, there's no doubt about that. So it was very intense. Um, in the detail, different, but in general, um, very similar. And um, so that's now the last of these tests, and um, um, the boys were always there. They performed always in all these games. Even when we lost at home against Chelsea, everybody saw the game. It was a good game. It was a good game. And this one was not a good game because we didn't find back in the game. Up the first 15 minutes, we could have been stayed in the game, but then we lost it a little bit and we didn't really come back. But the first, and again, the first half an hour in the second half was a completely open game, not a high quality game from both teams, not not a high quality, but a completely open game. It was not, no, but if we go through one time, it's one up, one it up. Nobody could have had too much against that. But then in the last 15 minutes, they had their two chances, all that stuff, and scored a goal, which we defended. That was the, the, the worst defending moment in the whole game, and they used it in the 89th minute. So um, that shows their quality, that they really are ready for these moments. And we didn't deal with that. And I saw a lot of worse games in my life. Uh, than that, uh, where, where I could get a point or whatever. This night, not. And I didn't. After the game, I didn't think it's unfair because it was it was a fair result. That's how it is. With a bit of luck, we would have get a point, which could have been really important at the end of the campaign, of course. But so it's absolutely okay. We know we can do better, and for the weekend, we know we have to do better. That's all. If we would have get a point there, then. Um, we would have known we have to do much better at the weekend, and that's what we try now. And um, against, yeah, the one of the strongest teams in world football. That's how it is. And um, but in yeah, an outstanding stadium with fantastic supporters against a really good football team, which we are still. And then let's try again. That's it. They are an outstanding team, and, and some of their football last season, this season, you know, blowing teams away. But, but why do you think you were able to do so well against them? And even, even the game you lost heavily, that was, you know, you, you could have won under different circumstances if, if Sadio Mane hadn't been sent off. You, the game was level up to that point. Yeah, true. Um, oh. That's what we spoke a lot about. I, do, I, do, I don't want to talk about that too much because it's, you know, when you, we last year we won obviously now the, the last three games against City. So twice in the Champions League and then once again in the league. Um, after none of these games, you, you, you go in the dressing room and think, now we got it. Eh? Now we know how to beat Manchester City because there is no real way. There's no real. Um, this one thing what you have to do that you can beat them, that's not there. You have to be ready. You need a, a fantastic football team. What I thank God have 
um, with an outstanding character, ready for being really brave, ready for making mistakes and all that stuff um, in a very difficult game against an outstanding opponent. That's it. And then um, it can work. That's all we need to know. Um, but um, I said it before in another interview, always when now somebody's telling me um, good luck for, for Sunday, and I think always, unfortunately, we need it. So that's how it is in these games. We need it in all the games we played against them, um, and we will need it again. But that's no problem. If you work hard, you earn it. You deserve it. Eh? So, and that's what we try to do. Mixed up with very good football. That's the plan. Eh? Because um, you have to create your own moments. You have to be um, brave in these situations as well. And then it can work. But there's no guarantee. Absolutely no. Um, Jürgen, do you feel like City are playing as well this season as they did last season? Are they, are they a better team? Or? Um, the, the analyze will follow in a, a detailed analyze after the press conference. So um, I heard, I think I heard that Pep said they play this year better than last year. Did he? Did he say that? Yeah. Then what? How could I say something different? So um, and um, I, I saw them a few times, but it's not that not about not for me to to compare City to say they are they are an outstanding side and play brilliant football. That's what I what what is obvious, and about all the rest, I'm not the right person to talk about. Um, yeah, just any other injury issues? Um, n no, nothing real uh, in the moment, apart from the the things we we know. Um, was is in training? Is in training? We have to, we have to see. Full is in full training. Full training. They are all in full training. Uh, Jürgen, everyone waits for uh, the Man City game to Liverpool because it's always entertaining attacking football. For you as a manager on touchline, do you enjoy it as much or it would be end to end, chances here, chances there? If you win at the end, yes. During a game, yes. I, I, I had it last week and um, after we drew at Chelsea and I, when, I, when I turned to, to Mauricio Sarri and he and was smiling and he looked at me, you enjoy that, eh? And I said, yeah, actually I do. So, um, but of course you, you, you. What can I say? I, I love that game. So, and then, then this, this was a very good game, and the Chelsea, uh, then the City games were very good games. It's not that, um, and I said it a few times, and I can say it again. I really think the most important thing for football, or the most important job of football, is entertaining the people. Because it's only football; it's nothing else. We don't we don't save lives. Um, we we don't plant anything, create anything. We don't are not good in surgeries, whatever. We are only good in football. And if we, if we would not entertain the people, why we play then? So it's not always possible, unfortunately. Because it, and it's always hard work, even if we entertain the people. It's especially hard work. But that's the that's really an important thing, and um, that's why we have to try. Um, to create constantly, or as often as possible, and now to go back. And Pep's teams are best in that. And I can admit that easily, because it's so obvious. And we are not bad in a few other things, and that's why we um, are not the most comfortable, or were not the most comfortable opponent for, Ch for City in the past, but that means nothing for Sunday. We need to be at 100%, if not at 110 percent to 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 deal with the quality of, of city but if we are there then it could work but only then yeah uh, uh of course for a player or for a manager what he has done in the past shaped the standards and can be a pressure as well saying that do you think that uh it's fair enough to compare what mo Salah has done so far to what he did that season yeah, in the beginning of the season, of course, it's only yeah. Obviously, expectation changed. That's normal. He set a completely new standard last year. That's absolutely. But, but um, from all, all the rest, it's um, it's what he did last year. Nobody expected ten goals after five, six, seven games. So it was always a nice surprise. And then you have the, and the, each striker could write a book about um, these. See these moments when you when you score without knowing how it exactly works, how you did it, you hit each ball in a perfect way and stuff like that. But 
that's so rare that it happens like that. 98% of a strike career is hardest work, and only 2% are the kind of easy going stuff. And so it's all good. Um, the only thing what, what massively changed is only the, the, the kind of questions you ask. That, that's last, week, last year, I don't think it was from the beginning a big story to talk about. And it started with a slightly positive story. Wow, not bad. And then, oh, even better, and stuff like that. So it all was a surprise. And now that's, that's the world out there. That's how it is in my job. If I win games, I know everything about football. If I lose three in a row, people think I have no clue um, about football. And both is not true. The truth is always somewhere in between. So um, that's why I said, and I didn't say that's maybe my English after the last time when somebody asked me um, what I think, how we should be. I, how I am, I'm completely relaxed. I didn't, I didn't um, say more. He should relax because he has to work hard. And so that, but that's what he's doing. But only um, that's a completely normal, normal situation. Nothing to worry about, and I'm relaxed about that. Yeah, you spoke about being unhappy with your time and going forward and, and backwards against Napoli, and, and then also the, the intensity of the period, the, 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 these current games you've been going through. Do you think those two things are linked? And, and if so, how do you combat that going into the game against City, which is going no, to be the so interesting. It's not interesting if they are linked. So it's um, because we, we can yeah, if they are linked, well then we ask the Premier League if you play on Tuesday or what. It's not possible. So um, um, no, that's not about that. That. Uh, it's more, it's more a, a concentration thing, so the, 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 the last games before that were so demanding from a concentration point of view that you're always being ready to do the right thing in the right moment. Timing means in defending. We, first of all, foremost, you have to find a formation. If you have the formation, then you need to find the right moment to leave that formation to put pressure on the, on the opponent. And this timing was not good. And that's nothing to do with physical things. That's, that, that's here, yeah, from that point of view. Uh, it was for sure a bit influenced by the things before, but um, that's it. That doesn't mean then that's one moment. It's, we had one and a half hours. The day was completely different. We couldn't train in the morning because in Napoli nobody gave us a pitch. We are used to that. We like that. We talk about a few things on the pitch, not real training, but we are on the pitch and we, we can do, uh, adjust a few tactical things. Um, that was different as well. Um, and that, that a lot of things, we could not go out for a walk, so we were the whole day in a hotel because when we, police said, t told us we cannot go in front of the hotel. Things like that. I don't, that's not an excuse. It's only it was different. And then the performance was like it was. So um, we had no other things to do than the whole day thinking about the game. And at the end, in the moment when we needed it, it was not there. It just, how I said, the start was completely okay. That's how you can start a game. You don't have to score in the first 15 minutes four goals to say it was a good game. That was a proper start. But from that, I mean, by many, we, we, we were not creating anymore. Defending was not like we are used to it because of the timing, but it was absolutely okay. We defended too often in the last line instead, in, instead of the midfield, not because of the midfield, but because formation was not there and they could pass the ball through. So last line was there, good, no problem. And then um, half time, all fine. And then first half an hour, second half, again, average game, but completely open. I, I, it was not that Napoli had played no-look passes and, and was in front of our goal. They had to work pretty hard and the uh, last 15 minutes and yeah, we gave it away. Actually, um, because we lost the ball in a, in, a wrong, in a wrong situation and one time around the goal because we didn't cover the space we had to cover in that moment. So that, that, that's the story of the game and, and nobody will remember that game in 10 years. Um, so that's, uh, that's the truth because it was not very, very exciting. But it was interesting still. So that's it. And now we lost it. And um, how is that? We, 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 I don't make uh, uh, too big a fuss of it because it's, then I would, it would be dis disrespectful of, um, um, with the performances we had, we had um, in the three games before that. They were all really, really good. We had the best performance in that season so far. Now you have that one. That's how it is. Not nice, but part of life and of a football manager. That's it.